the macroeconomic environment is looking a lot more upbeat than it's been for the past two years, with the African Development Bank talking about 4.2% economic growth outlook for the continent. The real challenge is saying, well, yes, there's, there's a more macro enablement, commodity price uptick, which is positive, but how do we move from a quantitative headline growth figures, and 4.2 is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty admirable growth, but how do we get it more qualitative? Companies operating in African countries say that there are opportunities, especially as urbanization takes hold and the demand for infrastructure increases. And in Africa, it's super important. We can have 200 million odd people or 187 that will move in there. And it will be too late if you start the process as that migration takes place. This is probably the right time to start thinking of how you create that. Part of that infrastructure creation involves telephony and digital content. For us, we're very much focused on bringing the internet to more and more of our customers. So we have a large customer base across Africa and Middle East. The adoption of mobile internet, smartphones, is still relatively low. Um, and we're trying to build you know, the right networks, the right commercial models, so we can really bring the next 50, 100 million of our customers you know, along this digital journey. Part of that journey means that businesses need to understand that it's imperative to include a broad spectrum of the country's population. Uh, inclusive growth is worth seven trillion dollars globally. Yeah, I've, if businesses, governments, stakeholders start to think of uh, uh, inclusive growth in economic terms, at that point of time, it's a sustainable thing because they will invest the same way. It's part of their core rather than it's sitting on the side, uh, something like CSR. There are opportunities in every single African country on the continent, but it's going to take research and some diligence. I'm Angelo Coppola for CGTN in Johannesburg, South Africa.